Hi, so first on the TFCB list is Walls and Welcome Mats. Um, here, author uh, and former public school ESL teacher Lars Ortiz explores the history of immigration in the United States from before the country was born to government policies such as the Chinese Exclusion Act to the building of a wall along the US-Mexico border. Uh, migration, the act of moving from one place to another, is one of the most natural traits that all human beings and animals share. Seeking better food and safe shelter is born out of a survival instinct. Yet, the crossing of borders is at once both controversial and hopeful. Walls and Welcome Mats examines the backlash against immigration in the form of xenophobia and nationalism, as well as the optimism that leads people to seek a new life and future. The traditional narrative of how kids come into the world leaves out many of the ways today's families come to be. Author, public health professional, and health communication specialist Rachel Ginocchio tackles this by weaving together the science of human reproduction with family narratives that include single parent, LGBTQIA+, blended, cohabitating, adoptive, extended, foster, and many others. Readers will learn about the science behind donors, surrogates, IVF, and the myriad of ways 21st century families are built and constructed, giving preteens and teens a more complex understanding of family creation. Um, a follow-up to the TFCB title, Natural Satellites, the big backyard looks at the backyard of our solar system. Some of the most exciting news in astronomy in the past two years has been the discoveries being made on the outermost fringes of our solar system, including images returned by the New Horizons spacecraft after it flew past Pluto. Along with the data that has expanded our knowledge of the formation of the sun and its planets. Author and illustrator Ron Miller, a member of the NASA Fine Arts Program and a regular contributor to magazines such as Astronomy and Scientific American, takes readers to the distance distant Kuiper belt in the Oort cloud, home to hundreds of thousands of icy bodies and more than a trillion comets. These regions hold materials that are just now being explored, and readers will learn about the exciting new insights into the origins of the sun and the planets. And that is the TFCB list, and then we are over to Zest. Um, the first title is Near My Freedom. Um, of the millions of Africans enslaved during the transatlantic slave trade, most have been rendered silent. Their personal stories have, are unknown to us, and scholars working to correct this are now tracing names on ship manifests, exploring family histories, investigating cultural artifacts, and tracking down every lead possible. Among those who were able to leave us stories, one of the most well-known is Olauda Equiano through his 1789 autobiography. Using that autobiography as a source text, Near My Freedom authors and educators Monica Edinger and Leslie Young share Equiano's life story in found verse supplemented with annotations that give readers context and historical background about what is happening in the poems. This book follows Equiano from his birth in Western Africa and his enslavement at a young age to his liberation and his work as an abolitionist. The 65th Infantry Regiment is a Puerto Rican regiment in the United States Army that has served in both World Wars, the Korean War, and others. The men of the 65th were awarded 10 Distinguished Service Crosses, 256 Silver Stars, 606 Bronze Stars, and 2,771 Purple Hearts during the Korean War, which made them one of the most decorated regiments in the war. However, Company L of the Boring Kinnears were also part of the largest court martial after a series of discriminatory or orders resulted in 162 soldiers being arrested. The facts of the court martial were not made publicly known and the soldiers' families found out months later when the men started to write home from prison. Eventually, the reasons for the court martial were found to be discriminatory and everyone was pardoned. In Men of the 65th, author Talia Akins Nunez tells the stories of the soldiers' successes and failures during the war in the face of discrimination, examines the racial injustices the men faced as they served, and covers their receipt of the Congressional Gold Medal from President Obama in 2014.